In this video, I'm going to show you how to do three different Easter designs or spring design patterns. These are patterns that you can use in your designs. I'm going to show you how to change the colors, how to scale it down, how to mask it into things, how to use it in different designs. These are all going to be in Affinity Designer and it's going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial and hopefully help you make better designs and get more sales. Let's go. Thanks for joining me on this video. My name is Juno with Detour Shirts. I've been designing and selling t-shirts online since 2005 and I want to help you learn how to design and sell t-shirts online. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to do patterns. Now, I've done scrapbooking paper for a long time back in the day, back in 2008, 9, and 10. I was doing scrapbooking paper, so I know a lot about patterns and how to do it digital patterns really easily. So I'm going to show you some simple tips and tricks on how to make your own patterns. You're going to see how simple it is. You can follow along. This is going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial in Affinity Designer. And with this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can change the colors very easily and then use these patterns on different things. If you look on Merch by Amazon or Redbubble, you might have seen a lot of designs with patterns in hearts or inside of bunnies or inside of hats or eggs or whatever it is. Uh, you can use these patterns for that as well as using the full pattern on pop sockets or phone cases. And on Redbubble, you can put it on shower curtains and things like that. So patterns are really cool for doing those things. It can be the background. It can be the full thing. Uh, it can be part of a design. So when you're using these patterns when you learn how to do these patterns keep these on the side make sure you're saving all your patterns so that you can easily access them and use them in different things so i'm going to show you how to do it step by step in affinity designer let's get into affinity designer right now so here i am in affinity designer i just made a few artboards here so that we can see i'm going to do three different patterns for you and they're, I'm going to do them in order of easiest to hardest. So the first one will be super easy. The second one will be kind of medium. And the third one wouldn't be so hard, but it's the hardest of the three. So I'm going to save that for the end. Um, first, let's do a polka dot pattern. The simplest way I know how to do it. And I'll show you. First, we want a background. So let's just get the rectangle tool right here. And let's just draw the background like this. It can be any color you want. Let's just make it edge to edge right here like that. And this is so that you can change the background real easy. If you want to make it magenta, which we'll do right here, you can just do it like that, right? Okay, so you can see artboard one rectangle. So the next thing we're going to do is just draw some circles real easy. Get the circle tool right here and do a circle. Hold down shift to make sure that it's a perfect circle. And you can make it any size. I'm just going to make it this size and white. Okay, it doesn't really matter what size. You can make a big size or a little size. I'm going to do it this size so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm, I'll zoom in here. So the next thing you want to do is hold down Option and Shift. And hold both of them down with your finger. Click on the circle and drag. So drag as far as you want. I'm just going to eyeball it and do here. It really doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be, you know, one inch or two inch. You can just eyeball it. So I'm going to do that right there. And after you're done with that, the next thing that's going to really help is hit Command J. Watch this. Command J is going to repeat the same thing. So it's going to be the same distance away that you did last time. And keep hitting Command J again and again and again until we reach the edge. And we want to go over the edge. There you go. Right over. You see how it's over? Now what you're going to do is select all these dots right here and kind of just center them. You see when it does that, that line? That means it's centered. So let's do that. And then move it to the top here like this. And then the next thing we're going to do is copy this. So let's let's just group this together. Command G, group that line. And then we're going to hold down Option and drag. And we're going to just eyeball this. So kind of in between, you see how it's in between here? Just drag it down and you can just eyeball it. So that line right there, that middle line kind of helps you see that blue middle line. Try and make that in between the two circles like this. And it doesn't have to be exactly this far, but you can see it's kind of at a diagonal, right? So that's going to be the hardest part. The next thing is going to be super easy. So now we're going to take all of these right here and 
we're going to hold down Option, Shift again, and kind of eyeball it. So just about there, you see how it looks like a diagonal? All of these dots look like they're in a diagonal. So once you see that, that's the perfect time to hit Command J. So hit Command J over and over and over again until you hit the bottom and you want to just pass it right there. See how this one's past the bottom? And there you go. That is your polka dot pattern. Make sure to um, grab all the dots and not the background. So let's do that. And you can see here, if I scroll down, those are the dots. Hit Command G to group them and title those dots over here on the layers palette. And you can do this rectangle as background. So double click on it and type background. And the reason you wanna do that, if you wanna change the dot colors, you can now. They're all the dots. So if you wanna make them blue dots or white dots or yellow dots, super simple. And if you wanna change the background, same thing. If you wanna change it like that, you could do that. Super simple. So that's your simple polka dot pattern. Real easy to do. Hopefully that uh, you followed along, if not rewind and go back. But that was the easiest pattern I know how to make with um, the polka dots. The next one's gonna be a, a little more difficult, but not much. If you know that whole command J, that's gonna get you very far. So the next design, the next pattern that we're gonna do is kind of a checkerboard pattern. But first, let's change the name of this artboard so we know that this is the polka dot. So polka dot, like that. All right, cool, now we can close that. And we'll go to the second artboard here. And we're gonna call this one checkerboard. Whoops, checkerboard. I think it's one word. Cool, all right, so I'm gonna zoom in here. I'm just holding down Option and my scroll wheel and just zooming in. All right. So you can make this any size as well. We're gonna start with the square tool right here, rectangle tool. And to be a square, hold down shift and drag like this. Now we're, let's make this one magenta. It can be any color, but you'll see why I'm gonna just pick one of these colors to make it easy. So the next thing you're gonna do is hold down option, shift and drag. And we're gonna copy this and kind of butt it up against each other. You'll see that right there. If you see a white space, that means you need to move it to the left. But you can see when I zoom in here, oh, I have a very slight white space, maybe like that. There we go, no white space. So now click both of these and drag it until they touch. So right there. Again, if you see a white space, you can move it up. So it's supposed to look like this, all four together. We're gonna click this top right and the bottom left and we're gonna do the opacity at 50%. So let's just do 50, like that. And this last one, we're gonna do the opacity at zero. So you can see here, there's still four squares, but the opacity is different. And that's gonna help us change the colors really easily. So you can see here, now because they're all the same opacity, I can change the colors on all of them at this any time, right? Okay, so here's magenta. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hold down Option, Shift again, and drag this until it touches that right there. You see that? Okay, I'm gonna zoom back out. So I'm gonna hit Command minus, and this is what we're gonna do. Because we did that, we're gonna hit Command J on this a bunch of times until it reaches the edge. So here, Command J, Command J, right? Until we reach the edge here. And then we're gonna select all of these and kind of butt it up against there. And that should be good. The next thing we wanna do is take all of these and Command J it, but first Option, Shift to copy it and drag it down until it touches that one, right? And then Command J again. So just hit Command J all the way down until we reach the bottom, perfect. And it should look like that. So you can make this bigger or smaller. I made some bigger squares, but it doesn't matter. We're gonna use this anyway. And now this whole thing can be colored. So let's say we want this cyan instead. Perfect, right? Easy, like that. So there you go, super simple. So this will work really well. We're gonna save this. We already saved it as a checkerboard and I'll show you how to use this one. So this one was kind of simple. 
Um, I say about the same as this one, but maybe a little bit more because we had more shapes, that's all. But we're still just using one shape. So the last pattern that I'm gonna show you how to make, I call zigzag. So let's close this one. We're gonna do zigzag here. Z-I-G-Z, -Z, zigzag, right? Let's go over to zigzag here. And we're gonna draw some guides. So from the ruler here, you should have guides turned on and just drag it down like that and do another one, drag down like this. And you can do any height, whatever you want. Okay, so it doesn't really matter, but I'm gonna just do right there and we're gonna zoom into it. And the guides are just gonna help us draw this zigzag so it's straight. And another thing that we're gonna do to help us make it straight is to hold down shift. So start at the very end, use your pen tool here, start right here, click there, hold down shift while you're doing this, and then go until you touch the guide here. You see that? It turns a color. Click that and do the same up here until it turns that color. And we're gonna do that until we reach the edge. So just make sure you click on the line. Don't pass it, don't go under it. Just wait till you click on it. So you see, you don't wanna click here, you don't wanna click here, right there. See that? In fact, that one was wrong actually. Right here when it, right there. Okay, so that's different. Click right there. And if you make a mistake, you can always Command Z, go back. Uh, I'm holding down the space bar and moving it with my hand to move. And we can still continue here. Click, click, click. And we wanna go off the page. Click and click. All right, so zoom back out. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do the stroke. So make sure you're on the stroke part right here. And let's just make it black for now. And the size can be whatever size you want. I have it at 46, but you can see you can make it as big or as small as you want. I'll do 46 in this example. So once you have it the right width that you want, again, you can make it any width that you want, um, change it to expand stroke. So come up here, go to layers, and do expand stroke, that's great. And now remove these guys, you don't need them anymore. They were just there to help you make the zigzag. And let's do the zigzag all the way at the top here like this, and then hold down shift and bring it all the way down until it touches right there. Okay, so we're gonna do this again with the command J. So hit command J over and over until we reach the bottom you can zoom out to uh, command minus, just so you can see the whole thing, command J, till we reach the bottom. You see some white space here, I didn't notice that, but if you see that, you can just move your zigzag. Um, just select all of them and move your zigzag to the right if that's where your white space is. So it should look like this. And now you can select, you can do whatever you want now and color these. I'm gonna select every other one and do a white, so not that one, that one, that one. You see that? And I'm gonna make these white now, like that. So you can see this cool zigzag pattern and you can color these. So you can color the other ones um, pink. That's, that's, we like the pink color, right? Magenta. Oh, we forgot to do this one, white. And we could leave it at that, or we could color them different colors. So let's say every other color, maybe we do a cyan or something. You know, you could have fun with this. You could even color these on the inside in between, maybe yellow or something like that. So you can see you can have fun with these zigzag patterns. So that's your zigzag. Have fun with that. Color them whatever color you want. But now you have all those zigzags and you have these three patterns. Now you may have noticed these bunnies here. We're gonna put these patterns in the bunnies and I'll show you how easy that is. So the last thing we're gonna do for this tutorial is put those patterns in these bunnies. I just got these bunnies from Canva, I downloaded them. Um, you can see if I click on them here, they're just the bunnies with the curve and they're just a silhouette. So silhouettes work great, they're easy to fill. I'll show you how to do them. So let's go back here and just select the whole thing here for polka dot 
um, come over here and hold down option and drag. So we're just copying that whole thing. You want to group it, command G, and let's put this one on the first bunny down here. You can see I labeled them a bottom bunny right here. So I'm just going to grab that group that we have up here and bring it down into the bunny and drag it in. You see here and here, this is the difference. Here and then here, dragging it in. So you can see that it did that perfectly. And you can make this bigger or smaller now. So if you have this group, if you want the dots smaller, you know, drag it in, in like that, bigger or smaller. And if you go in here, if you don't like the color of it, again, we can come in here and change the background. Let's say we want that magenta instead. You could do it like that. So the next one is this one right here, the checkerboard, same thing. We're gonna copy the whole thing and drag it down here, holding option, so we're copying it, and it's down here. And we'll just drag it over this one right there. And let's make it the right size first. Oh, make sure that we group it. I think we forgot to group it. There it is. So let's put it over, so right here, the left bunny. And one thing we can do with this, if we want to, we could hold down shift and turn it at a 45 degree angle. You see that 45 right there? That's a little different, right? And we can scale it too. So let's do that. And sometimes you see that like a 45 degree angle checkerboard. That's how you do it. And again, you can change the color on this very easily like we saw. Like we saw. So come in here. Look at all the, this whole thing is grouped now, so we can change it to pink, or we can change it to blue, or we could change it to green, or whatever we want, right? So, there you go. Lastly, zigzag pattern, you know how it works now. Select the whole thing, option, drag, make sure we group it like we did um, before, and scale it down, put it in front of the bunny here, and make sure this group is inside the bunny, drag it, make sure to pull it in to the right a little bit and you can see, there we go, and just scale it, whatever we want. And then now we can take these bunnies and put them wherever we want like this, do like something like that and we could put happy Easter, whatever we want. And it doesn't have to be bunnies, it can be hearts, it can be parts of uh, designs, maybe it's just the egg or maybe it's just the hat on a gnome or something like that you can do it. Maybe it's just uh, a ribbon on someone's head. You can do that too. So so I have other videos I put at the end, uh, a link to them, but I have videos on leopard patterns as well as other patterns that you can do um, to put in here. So um, have fun with patterns, put them in everything uh, and change the colors to match the Easter colors if you're gonna use this for Easter. I hope that you can use these patterns and make some awesome designs with it. So that is it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully this video was super helpful for you and now you can use these patterns whenever you want. You can change the colors, uh, change the size on it, rotate it, whatever you want. Uh, hopefully that was really helpful for you. If it was, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Uh, that really helps in the algorithm if you give this video a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed already, make sure to hit that subscribe button right there. The question of the day for this video is, what are some other patterns that you'd love to learn how to do I think patterns can be used for so many different things and there's so many out there. If there's a pattern that you wanna learn how to do, let me know in the comments and I'll, I'll teach you how to do them so that you can make them for yourself and be able to change the colors and stuff like that. Uh, thanks again for watching this video and if you wanna see more videos like this one about patterns, I'll put these right here. And as always guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one, bye.